What's up, everybody? This is Kenny Commons here of Chilling with Kenny C. Right here on TMVCafe.com, bringing you entertainment to your ears. Uh, joining me at this time is a award winning singer songwriter. She is a warrior as well, going through a lot of adversity. And uh, it's been a while since we last chat on the interview platform, and I'm glad to have her back. Miss Catherine Shipley is with me right now. Hello. Hi, Kenny. How are you, man? I'm good. Um, first things first, um, good to have you back on the show. And uh, thanks uh, for joining me. Uh, before we get caught up on the music, um, how are you health-wise? How are you feeling? I'm doing good. You know, I, uh, you know, most, a lot of people know, maybe not a lot of people, but I went through a year long, uh, journey with cancer, with colon cancer. Actually, um, I found out, uh, February 9th in 2023 that I was stage one. And then after I uh, had surgery, uh, they took 20 lymph nodes from me. And in one, there was a tumor. And so that changed the staging. They restaged it to, uh, stage three A. And so then um, I had, uh, after I went through the surgery, they resectioned my colon. They took five inches of my colon. And then I started an aggressive four-month journey with uh, chemotherapy, with uh, infusions, as well as taking pills. And that was just like, man, that was crazy. Um, I, I can't believe I got through it, but, you know, my faith got me through it. And then in um, November, I found out I was uh, cancer-free. Um, there was no evidence. They call it NED in the cancer world, N-E-D, no evidence of disease. So as of November 1st, and I actually call it NED-vember, so um, I was uh, can't, no, no evidence of disease, not showing cancer. So the new journey will be uh, three months. Every three months, I go to my oncologist, and then six months, I do scans. So it's been a year now, so I will do another colonoscopy uh, February the 21st and see what's going on. And uh, God willing, there will be nothing going on there. So it's been, it's been something, man. It's, it's been something. Well, let me just say that very, very happy that um, you overcame it. You know, shout out to the doctors. Shout out to everybody that was a part of this journey with you. Um, family, yeah. friends, fellow musicians, fans, supporters. Shout out to everybody uh, that was with you the whole way. Um, I'm, I'm glad that you're alive and breathing. Uh, that's just what it boils yeah. down to. So, Yes, Lord. I mean, I, I, I believe in the uh, prayer and numbers, and I think that's really, it really got me through a lot of stuff. Uh, shout out to my best friend, uh, Karen Garner, that was like kind of my caregiver for a while when I was down. And, uh, even my work uh, friends, you know, just being there and being able to step in for me when need be. So, I mean, I just had some amazing friends. And uh, I, I believe, you know, Amy McAllister, shout out to her, yeah. one of my best friends in saw, you know, starting to go fund me to help me get through some time. So, I mean, it was just like so many people just all came together. Um, one of, Another one of my good friends, Lee Newton, that you know, down in North Carolina, just so many, man, so many people just were there for me, man. And um, and then number one is God. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Amy. Um, I started listening to her music through you. And of course, I've been playing the Christmas music as well. Uh, she's very yeah. talented, uh, very passionate person. And of course, Lee Newton, um, who I just know recently of course, the interview I have playing with her has been pushed back, but we're going to make that happen. Uh, she's yeah. got Carolina Wayne, her latest single, out right now. Uh, so, shout out to her. Uh, yeah. you, you, you definitely have a lot of good people on your side. So, um, that's, you know, like your latest single, which was back in April, Hope Wins. So, I just... And, and, that, and that song we actually um through uh it was through Kavala Records and uh it was written by some people at the 
uh, Josie Music Awards, uh, the JMA Fest, uh, some songwriters kind of considered ghostwriters because a lot of people got together and they wrote that song and uh, me and Danny Kinsey did it. And then 100%, 100% of the proceeds from, the, from that song, from downloads and streaming, will go to the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. So it, it's just a really a really good thing that, that happened with that song. Um, really good song. And so many people, a lot of people that are going through uh, colon cancer, a lot of people, when they go get their infusions done, they listen to that song. It's on their playlist. So that song has reached out a big reach, even not even in the colon cancer. Well, just people in general that have reached out to me that are going through cancer, they, they, they've got it on their playlist. And so it's uh, that song reached a lot of people, man. It tugged on a lot of hearts. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful that God is using me um, with this, um, I, I can't be angry about it at all. If I'm making a difference for somebody, if I'm inspiring somebody to go get a colonoscopy or go get screened from, for colon cancer, then, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm winning. I'm winning. Well said. So we're in t- 2024 now, and um, you are enjoying life. And so with that being said, what what's next for Catherine Shipley, as far as music wise, um, you got anything in the works as of this moment? I've got, there's so many things that I'm trying to do. It's like, um, I'm, I'm doing stuff with the colorectal cancer Alliance. I'm actually going, uh, in March to a, a golf tournament to, uh, do some things there, but on the music side of things, um, I've got, I've got a song coming out called we are called that was written by Patrick Dodge, a great friend of mine. And, um, we're, me and, Jackson Snelling, I'm sure you know him. He was on uh, American Island, The Voice, recently. Yeah. And we're supposed to record this song as a duet together. Um, we were supposed to go at the end of February, so things got turned around. But we're going to actually do our vocals. We're supposed to do our vocals in mid-March now, I think. Um, so there's, you know, some, and Jackson's getting very busy. So there's just, like, a lot of different moving parts. But that wasn't his fault. But it was just, like, we had some misunderstandings with the production part of it. So... We're going to try to get back together and get some stuff done, but he's getting really busy. So hopefully there'll be some time within March that um, we, we can get together and do this duet. And then there's another song in April that I'm going to be recording called Enjoy the Now. Um, so there, there's like so many, so many things going on, Kenny, that it's like, and then all these songs getting pitched to me. And, and it's been a year, you know, since I've been able to get in the booth and record because of all of this stuff, my journey going on. But I'm, I'm so excited to finally be able to get back at it. And um, the icing on the cake was in October, the Josie Music Awards, when I won for Album of the Year for uh, Christian Inspirational. So, I mean, it was just like, and right then, I, you know, I, I didn't know I was still going through my cancer journey. I, so I didn't hear the word, um, no evidence of disease until November. So October, I was at the awards show. And so it was like very kind of emotional for me to see a lot of people knowing what I had went through, um, kind of my body kind of transformed in some different things. So when people saw me, um, they saw the weight loss, they saw how different I kind of looked and, but I was still me. So, um, God, you know, was still blessing me. Um, so, I mean, it's just, um, I'm good. I'm, I'm just really good. I'm in a good place in my life and, um, just trying to do more volunteer work, um, on, on the side of, uh, colon cancer awareness. Um, and then I, I'm also involved with uh, a group called the Liam Michael Foundation, which is for suicide prevention and suicide awareness. And so there's a lot of volunteering and a lot of good things are going on in my life. And then Spread Hopes and Love, a collaboration that Amy had uh, put together with her passion about suicide uh, prevention and awareness. And so there's, and that just got me going to try to want to do more stuff about that. So, man, I'm just, I'm thankful. And, and in the midst of it all, you know, the awards kept coming for me. I wasn't recording, but they were just the blessings just kept coming. And um, I won um, down in Florida uh, for, uh, oh, gosh, Oh, What a King had won for a Christmas song. You know, so, I mean, it, there's just so many um, amazing things that have happened for me. So many things. And, and, it, and it's all because of God, Kenny. I mean, I really, my faith has just been so strong. It's never, it's never wavered. It's gotten even stronger. And, um you know, sometimes when we go through bad things, we, we call on God, but I've always called on God, even in my joys that I've, you know, celebrated in life. So yeah, I'm just thankful. Thankful. Well said. Well said. So one thing I noticed from you, Catherine, um, throughout the years that I've been listening to your music is that you definitely love doing the duets. 
I see, you know, I your did. love, your love collaborations. It's like, you know, you 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 working with a, a different person here and there, um, and it sounds beautiful. Um, it's it's just resonates the uh, the collaborations that you've been doing. So, um, but that being said, was it like having these collaborations with an Amy, with a Danny? Was it like just just doing these these duet songs with these incredible artists that you've been working with? You know, they're just one. They're just fun. It's just to be able to work with different people, um, different genres of music, and it's just you know, it's it's satisfying for me to just be able to hang out with somebody. And, you know, like Danny, I had, you know, just, we were talking back and forth about the song. I had never met him. I just, you know, when I, when I first got the song pitched to me, um, Hope Wins, you know, I was like, I got to, I wanted, I, it was supposed to be a single, just me. And I was like, I really want to do a duet with a guy. And, and then I, I think probably a few months before that I had, heard some of his music and I'm like this guy this is you know, and when I reached out to him he goes oh yeah I'll do it and he flew in on his own dime and, and came to Nashville and we recorded it and I mean it was just awesome that you know he took the time to just fly in you know not worry about you know anything he just said yeah let's let's do it you know so it was just a it was a great thing um and I appreciate that uh Kabbalah Records let us you know record that and then put it out to the world so it was just a good strong song and and just a good person to record it with and and then the stuff with amy you know we've done a christmas song before and we've been friends since 2018 we actually met at the josie music awards and she's like one of my best friends in life and and it's just like she is just man she's on a on a tear with music and and just her volunteerism humanitarianism i mean she's just doing so many amazing things for people and so I'm just excited to be around those type of people. Those those are the type of people that in life you want to be around. Just good good people that have a good heart and just want to give. So Well said. Well, um y'all check out Catherine Shipley. She's got a lot on the way. She's doing a lot of volunteer work. Um and just I'm just again, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for chatting with me. Congratulations on your awards and congratulations, more importantly, on your health, just um, overcoming everything. So I'm very, very happy for you. And uh, she's obviously has always been a well-known name on my Music Money jukebox. Uh, so <laughs> once you release your music, you're there by default. So um just thank you Catherine for your support towards me and uh and just appreciate you and uh just thanks for for chatting with me so I'm glad everything's working out for you and uh I look forward to see what you have in store next so thank you for your time Catherine and and thank you so much man thank you for what you do for us too and i want to give a shout out to my brother from another mother greg roberts because that you know you know that guy he's all that's a great man too so but thank you um for always like for independent artists spinning our stuff and um hey it doesn't go unnoticed honestly it doesn't so thank you very much kenny for what you do too thank you Catherine. you have a good night enjoy the rest of your week okay man you take care all right